so you got a girl back home? Dear John, I do believe that the tears I've cried could fill the Mississippi. I miss you ever so much. Ma and Pa have done nothing but badger and pester me. They tell me that you never come back home to me. Sometimes I think they may be right. But then I remember your promise to me. I do hope you find a fortune in Alabama. The way you play that old banjo, well, you'd like nothing I've ever heard before. I know I'll hear of your success one of these days. I just want to be right there next to you, darling. I've been told that someone found gold out in California. Can you imagine that? Pa wants to pack up and move out there. He's positive that it's the right thing to do, that no one else will be looking. I think that all the gold will be gone by the time we get there, but he insists that no one knows about it yet. I do hope you return to me before he forces us to move out there. I'm scared I might never see you again. No matter what happens, I want you to follow your dreams. You've got a gift, and it would be the greatest shame for you to keep it all bottled up to yourself. I miss you more than anything in the whole entire world. Love, Susanna. Oh, Susanna, please don't cry for me. I miss you more and more every day, and reading your letter makes me long for you ever the more. My travels to Alabama have been extraordinary, and I have so much to tell you. The very first day I left, it rained so hard that everything I owned became soaked with water. Luckily, the case I saved up for kept my banjo dry. Ever since that night, it's been nothing but dry heat. I swear this is a good Lord showing me that life is better when I'm with you. So I've taken off for Louisiana, for home. I lost my horse a while back, and I've been traveling by foot, so it's been taking me quite some time. Just when it seemed like all hope of me returning to you was lost, I met a man who promised me that he would take me all the way back home on his horse and wagon. Now at first glance, you wouldn't expect such kindness out of such an unkempt fellow, but he's proven to me that you absolutely cannot judge a book by its color. Today we are camping and tomorrow we will be heading to his home to retrieve his horse and wagon. I suspect we will be arriving in the next 20 days, so take heart and dry those tears, my love. 